All right, so in this video we're going to show you how to repair uh, stripped threads. So in this case, while I was installing my driver uh, rear hub assembly here, there's two bolts that hold the assembly to the ball joint, and what happened was one wasn't really going in, and I stupidly used my impact driver to try and get that bolt in there, and that what that did is it totally stripped all the threads. So you can see down here, all the threads have been just totally stripped out it's just smooth now compared to the one here that has threads. So in that case what we're going to have to do is re-thread this so that we can actually use uh, the bolt and we have to move one bolt size larger because now the threads are stripped for the smaller bolt so we got to move one, one bolt size larger. So the standard st stock size here is 12 millimeters and uh, we have to move one up here so the only the next metric size is 14 millimeters and uh, so okay we go ahead we buy ourselves some 14 millimeter bolts you can see here I have a 14 millimeter bolt uh, 40 millimeters long and uh, this one's 1 1.5 pitch so once we have the bolt now we have to redrill and tap the hole that's been that's been stripped so you go ahead, you go to your store, and you buy a tap set. And so a tap looks like, like this. And what this is, is sort of like a drill bit that has the uh, grooves in here to cut out the threads for the new bolt. And you need to have the same size and the same uh, thread pitch as the bolt you're going to be using. So for this case, this one's a 14 millimeter times 1.5. So it's a pitch of 1.5 millimeters. And then once you, uh, you buy the set, the set will come with something called a tap drill chart. And, you know, we ch we've chosen here uh, 14 times 1.5 millimeters. So it says for that size of tap, we have to drill out the hole to be 12.5 uh, millimeters or one half inch. So that means that the hole, the hole here has to be a half inch before we start to, to tap it. And we do that by just drilling it out with a regular drill bit. So I have here the half inch drill bit. And you can see here it doesn't fit, which means that it does have to be drilled before we can tap it. So we're going to go ahead and do that and drill this first using the size recommended by the, the, the chart, going for a 14 millimeter times 1.5 tap. So we're going to do that now, and then we'll show you the next step. All right, so we've gone ahead and drilled out the hole that needs tapping. So this one right here has been drilled out to what was required, the half inch. And we just, you know, it's good to have a vise so you can drill straight down. You don't have to wobble around. So clamp it in a vise, go straight down. Use some uh, WD-40 as you're going along just to smooth things out and dr the drilling process. And now what we're going to do is we're going to tap. So what we have here is the appropriate size tap. And then we need a tap wrench. So we're going to be tapping by hand. And what we do here is we put the tap inside the tap wrench and then we basically just put it in the hole and turn. And this uh, threads the hole for our bolt. Now when you're tapping, it's a good idea to go slowly and go one full turn and then back a turn and also be liberal with your use of WD-40 or tapping oil, whatever you have. And you don't want to keep just going through the whole thing. I mean, this isn't a very deep hole that we need to tap. It's only going to be, you know, a couple threads, but um, do one full turn, then go back. Use some WD-40, then go another full turn back, and then just to get all that crud out, because you actually are digging in holes in this metal, and you have to remove that metal that you are, you know, digging out uh, so it doesn't get clogged in there and ruin your tap. So go ahead and do that, and we'll show you what it looks like afterwards. Just want to show you what the tapping process looks like. So you have your hub bolted down or vice down. You have the hand tap here and the tap inside, and using lots of WD-40. And so you just turn this by hand using two hands nice and smoothly. It should turn nice and smooth, cutting out. You can hear it cutting into the metal. And then once you do one full turn, go back a half a turn, spray some more WD-40 in, and then just keep going. And you go go till you go all the way through. Well, our thread has all been tapped, so we went all the way down till the tap came out the bottom, then we chased it back up, 
and we can see here the new 14 mil times 1.5 bolt slides smoothly into place it's stuck there fits perfectly no problems so recommended here is a good tap set with the tap chart on the wall there where you can refer to and then you need a tap wrench lots of WD-40 and you also need a drill set so you can drill out the tap hole to the proper size once you do that it was effortless I mean it just takes a little bit of time and, you know you gotta have the right tools but look how beautiful that thread is and we fixed our stripped hole so now we have a 14 and a 12 so they're mismatched but uh, as long as we choose the, the correct strength bolt we're good to go good luck